It was the longest state budget impasse in California history, but it came to an end on Tuesday. Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger signed a $145 billion spending plan, but how will that plan affect the millions of folks living here in Orange County? Reporter David Nazar joins us now to explain. Welcome, David. Thank you for having me, Ed and Maria. Financial experts say while the new budget doesn't call for an increase in taxes, it doesn't fix most of the state's problems either. The same can be said for Orange County. It's being called the best deal the governor could get, putting his signature on a new state budget that experts say has significant problems with the disparity between state spending and revenue. In Orange County, like most counties in California, officials are concerned with cutbacks in education, transportation, and county government. I'm really concerned that uh, this next year could be tougher than this year. And even though the schools were protected by Prop 98 not being suspended, what's going to happen is everybody who did get cut will say, hey, we've given our fair share, let's go back and, and cut the schools. Habermill says Orange County already receives less money than the rest of the state for education, about $15 million less. And even though districts have tried to prepare for the worse, the new budget cutbacks will hurt. If you have a tight budget and then you lose students, uh, that decline of enrollment is a killer because you lose the revenue and your operating costs are still there. Paul Taylor with the Orange County Transportation Authority knows something about that. Taylor says the OCTA, like the school districts, has tried to prepare for a budget shortfall. However, there could be problems. The surprise we got this week is that the governor um, executed a line item veto to remove $100 million from the state transit assistance fund, which means a loss of $8 million to OCTA to the bus system. Taylor says the OCTA could be faced with two options to offset the state budget crisis. And one is to reduce the amount of service we provide, and the other is to, is to charge our customers more by increasing fares. Officials here at the Orange County Budget Office say that while there is cause for concern with the late signing of the state budget and the budget crisis, they have taken precautionary measures to try and safeguard against the shortfall of dollars. Having said that, officials here said they've had to work in their own reductions in programs and services. He reduced the state general funded programs by approximately 10% across the board to public safety, health care, and social service programs. Kim says the county has tried to use its own money to supplement the losses. Even still, times are tough. It's been a real difficult budget cycle for us because the state has had unprecedented um, the size of the deficit and the timing of how late that uh, the state was able to pass and complete their budget process. That's just criminal. Well, the budget battle has been going on for most of the year. It puts us in a very difficult situation. And for the record, Ed and Maria, California got its budget 85 days late. Yes, it did. Well, David, did the people that you interviewed today, for example, t say when they thought they might uh, have to let go of teachers or if the bus fares increase, when that increase might happen, anything along those lines? Well, all three folks we spoke with in the education, transportation, and government sector said it could be a few weeks to a few months before they know the full effects of the state budget that the governor has just signed. Okay, well, I guess we'll all wait tentatively and see what happens. Thanks.